Welcome to the vault. This is where we do some straight up coin collecting. I am Tripwire and I am having an argument with my stand. Just decided to move, didn't it? All right. Anyhow, today we are going to be doing something a little bit different. We've never done this one before, but I am going to show you how I ID foreign coins that I cannot read. I'm going to do a little step-by-step -step process on exactly how do I figure this stuff out. But we also do have worldwide coinage. Shannon Dalton sent in a picture, uh, actually two pictures of the same coin. We're going to be looking at that really quick. It's pretty cool. And uh, we're going to be doing some coin roll hunting for sure. And I got something special for you guys. Guess what? Boom! Half dollars. We're going to look at a roll of half dollars for sure. I got lucky I scored a ton, but what I really need is a beverage right now to keep me calm because I'm ready to take this stand and throw it across the room. But we'll save that for the kinetic quarter. But anyhow, today we're having a monster watermelon. Now, I am not a big fan of monster. They always taste like battery acid to me, but they suckered me in because I love watermelon. So <laughs> let's see if this tastes like watermelon. Please taste like watermelon. Yeah, um, not my favorite, but I, I got a busy day, so I'm going to drink this anyway. All right, let's look at the coin that we're going to be trying to ID first. Okay, a few episodes back, I was doing worldwide coinage, and I could not figure out what coin this is. <clears throat> There's absolutely no English for me to go off of. The one thing that we can all agree with is that we can basically recognize uh, Oriental writing. But there's so much of it, and I am far from knowing the difference between any of them. And uh, I did check every country except for one, and none of them are it. I checked Japan, South Korea, North, North Korea, South Korea, Viet, uh, uh, was it Viet, Vietnam, Vietnamese, something like that. Anything I could think of. So if you get a coin like this, and you check and you're not getting anywhere that way, ask somebody. And a very special thanks to us. Uh, Stories lost and found and sin. Um, I did show this on the vault, and they said it looks like it's Chinese writing. Well, uh, you know what? I don't think I did check China. <laughs> I don't think I checked any Chinese coins, but we definitely know that that it's not a uh, Taiwan or anything like that. I checked, so we are gonna look at some pictures of Chinese coins and see if we can identify this. Okay, now, this is the way I do it. I'm sure there's a bunch of other different ways, but this is how I like to do it. We, uh, someone said it may be a Chinese coin. Let's find out. I always go to Yahoo Images all the time to help me out with this. So, C-H-I-N-E-S-E, C-O-I-N, Chinese coin. Okay, there we go. Now, what we're going to do is go over to Images. Sorry if it's bouncing a little bit. Boy, do those look familiar? Anyhow, we're going to be looking through these over here. Well, I'll be darned. Sure is heck. Well, here's the thing. We've got a picture of it. we got the coin in our hand. And you got to look for the symbol. You just match up the coin with the, one of these pictures, right? So I'm looking at the coin right now. And it looks like there's the writing's only around the head. And uh, the shoulders are cut off. Let's look at uh, this one right here. Okay, now on our coin, there's actually a ring around it. The whole thing that has Asian letter lettering. So we know that that's not the one. Um, let's see here. Let's go back up a tad. We'll get back to the beginning. That's too much of a writing. Basically what I'm trying to do is match this coin to the image. Hopefully we'll do it. Because as you can tell, I did not do this beforehand. I didn't look up anything beforehand. We're doing this kind of live. Kind of live. Okay, no. No, because we got the... There's no writing on the side of the coin. Uh, do, 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 do. But it does look like it could be one of these coins here. I'll try not to bore you. I'll try to find it as fast as possible. That's close, but not too quite. Is everybody in China bald? Why do they all gotta look the same? And no, that's not being racist. That's a joke. No, kind of close. No. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Boom. You can rewind and check it out uh, on this video. That is our coin. Okay, but what is the name of the coin? We're going to have to go to this page. Please be good. Please be good to me. Please be good. 
Okay, so here's our coin. We did find it through Yahoo Images. But what is the name of it? There's the back, which is cool. Uh, these were used in ancient Chinese coin. as the earliest coin. <sighs> Are you kidding? Well, it's supposed to be BC. I think that this is the one that's BC. Okay, you are not telling me what coin this is. See, this is the downfall of trying to do this. Ancient Chinese coins. Yeah, that's beautiful, but you're not helping us on what it is. Let's go back. We do have some information on that, maybe, but that is definitely our coin. But we need to find something that gives us some info. It'd be nice. Give me a date or something to go off of, please. It did give us kind of a date, if that's the right coin, but I don't think that that was the coin you were talking about. There it is. Is this it? No, that's not it. The backing's different. Wait a minute. That's it right there. There's the backing. That is definitely the backing of our coin. We are onto something here. Boom. Now, we may get super lucky. We are... Basically super lucky. Okay, this is the site that I go to to get information on it. But what is the name of the coin? I have a few coins. But I... Wow, this episode is turning out to be harder than what I thought it was going to be. First one is a Japanese yen. Okay, well, we don't need the first one. These coins are pretty rare, man. Um, number one, two, three... Which one is it? So there's one, two, three, four. So this dude over here has four. Is this the coin? Boom, there it is. That is our coin. This is awesome. All right, well, we got lucky on this one because this is just, as soon as I get the information, as soon as I see that it's a uh, public of China, you know, you two are right, lovely. As soon as I would have saw China, and half yen, I would have typed it into this uh, website anyways. This is the website I always use. So, boom. Let's see what this is really quick. Awesome. This is a uh, standard coin circulation, 30 to 32, 1941 to 1943. It's kind of cool. Uh, this is a half yen. It is made out of copper nickel. Now, again, uh, over here, I guess in very fine. Wow, that's pretty cool. In very fine condition, it is worth $3.20 cents also with au so there's quite a possibility uh yeah if we look at this one let, let's take a peek at this one right here if the markings match up and unfortunately they don't because this one is different from the coin in my hand and uh this one is also different so it could be a different year but either or we do know it's a half yawn all right, so this is what I got to go through every time you see worldwide coinage. But uh, we're going to check out something else really quick. All right, Mr. Shannon uh, sent in a picture of a coin that he uh, has or bought or came across. And, you know, and uh, it's a very, very interesting coin. And I love, love the description that he said about it. I'll tell you that after we look at the other side. Um, I will be doing a dive on this. I will do some research on this because now it's got me curious. I'm not sure if it's, I'm pretty sure... It is a coin for circulation. I don't think this is a token, but it was definitely 2002. It's probably copper, aluminum, or something like that. I'm not exactly sure. But anyhow, I don't know what language that is. We'll say Spanish, maybe. But anyhow, here's the other side of the coin. Boom. Okay, so at least we got the name here. Republican of Nicaragua. Okay, okay, so this is definitely currency from Nicaragua. And check this out. <laughs> when he sent it to me at the email, he said, I found a Pink Floyd coin <laughs> because of the triangle. That is awesome. If I ever come across this in my collection, I am calling it the Pink Floyd coin from now on. Shannon, thank you so much for uh, sending in your pics. I absolutely love it. This is a cool coin, and I will get some information to you as soon as I can. But right now, let's do some worldwide coinage. All right, here's what we're going to do. For those of you that are new, I'm going to draw four coins from around the world. Oh, great. There we go with the lighting again. Uh, from around the world. And we are going to see what these coins are. I will let you know next week. 
That one's super shiny. <laughs> so these are the four coins I'm going to be researching for sure. So but let's find out what we did the last time. What did we pull up the last time? Let us see. Boom. Number one, we got this dude right here. We got another. <laughs> what is it with Asian coins today? I don't know. I just grabbed it. This is from Japan. And again, I had to use the same philosophy that you just saw. Because uh, there is no English on here for me to read whatsoever. So the technique that I just showed you how I find coins. So I found this one. On this one in particular, I put in a Japanese coin, and I may have put house on it. That's a possibility. But from Japan, 1959 to 1989. This is a 10 yen, and it is made out of bronze. Boom. In very good condition, 13 cents. Uncirculated, 79 cents. So we got Japan and China all in the same one today, which is cool. Here we go again. Fortunately, this had some... English or some Spanish I could actually make out. From Mexico, 1967. A 50 centavos. This is made out of copper nickel. In very good condition, 13 cents. In uncirculated condition, $1. And I do love the Aztec warrior on this coin. That is wicked cool. Coming up in third. Boom. What do we have here? Drop this down. Boom. Um, Germany, 1924. All right, guys, here we go. A one Renten mark. R-E-N-T-E-N-M-A-R-K. This is made out of bronze. Now, pay close attention. If you look <clears throat> underneath this stalk over here, there is a little letter. that That is a mint mark. That's, so this is an A mint mark in very good condition, 45 cents. Uncirculated nine dollars and sixty cents. So you got one of these uncirculated, you got yourself some currency, which is really cool, not bad. Boom, over here. Once again, we are going all the way back to Mexico. This is 1975, a 20 centavos, and this is made out of copper nickel. And um, in good condition, 14 cents, uncirculated, 34 cents. Now, uh, time for the token of the week. I gotta have to pull this back a bit. Now, once again, because of uh, how I keep on forgetting, I uh, literally grabbed this at the last minute. <laughs> literally. I mean, I just grabbed it right before I hit record. I don't know what this is on, on any level. There's at least there's some lettering on it. Is this, is this even a token? I, I don't know what in the world this is. Uh, if anybody has any uh, suggestions, throw them in the comments below. I don't know. I'm going to have to look around and see what, see what I can find in this. But size detecting, thank you once again for the token. If that's indeed a token, it probably is. Whatever it is, it looks super ultra cool. But right now, we are going to do a rap battle. I'm going to do this off camera to save ourselves some time. You figure out which, which roll is going to have the better coins. Is it going to be uh, the striped one or is it going to be the white one? Make a guess now. Okay, here are the results of the rap battle over here with the stripe one. We got uh one, two, three, four, five, six copper pennies, two 1982Ds, and we made a profit. There was actually a diamond that roll, so <laughs> that's awesome. Over here we got four copper pennies, one 1982D, and a 2009 uh, penny, which is always my favorite. But if you pick the stripe one, you are a total winner. Congratulations. You get to have all the dirt you want while you're walking on dirty land. There you go. There's your prize. You get dirt. <laughs> while supplies last. Anyhow, quarters. Let's do a roll of quarters. See what we can find up in here. We are definitely going to do that roll of half dollars. I'm looking forward to that. I was at the bank, and I asked them if they had any. They said yes. And she goes, I go, how much? Well, I bought almost all of them. I got, bought like six rolls of them, and I'm dying to open them. But again, I do thank everybody very much for watching The Vault or any of the other shows here at Straight Up Mail Detecting. And I can see we're going to have problems with shiny coins once again. So let's do this. Yosemite. Nope, don't need that one. If you have any topics you would like to discuss on The Vault, just let me know. Throw it in the comments below. I will try anything as long as it's legal. I know we have this chick here. Let's get this light back. Maybe that might help. There we be. So um, I still hold on to those. 
Uh, I'm not sure if you know or not, but once a month I am going to start doing error coins. So if you're into error coins, you want to check that out. And I do thank everybody for sending me information on some of the error coins, like the Alaska quarter. There is a extra paw. You got to look for that one. I don't know that one. The 2005 nickel. Uh, there, it's actually a spear. They call it the spear, nick, the spear nickel because it looks like there is a spear going through the bottom of the buffalo. 1967 will hold that. Well, what do you have here? Oops, wrong side. Nope, Georgia peach. There are many, many other ones that we're going to be looking at. I, I got enough. We might even just like grab a roll of dimes and throw them up. I know one of the, I can't remember, it's the 87 or the 80, 97 or 96. No. Well, no, I'm sorry, 68, 69. Uh, one of those two, they have a double strike D. So we'll be definitely looking at those. I'm trying to do that off of memory. Oh, here's a new one. There we go. The new quarters are out. At least the first one of the series is. Do not ask me what <laughs> which one it is, but I do believe. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. I believe Eleanor Roosevelt actually has a quarter coming out. So that's going to be interesting. That's probably going to be one of the more valuable ones in the collection. Maybe. Is that one? Uh, Wyoming. I got to go back through my notes and stuff. Remember which ones I'm going to keep. Start saying those aside for the arrow point shows coming up. This one here, believe it or not. Something that has to do with those buckets that just happen to be. I think that there's an error somewhere, like right about where these buckets are. I'm going to have to double check on that one because I'm not positive. But I do remember seeing that. 19, what was that? 68. I'll hold that. Nope. 87. Nope. I speed up a tad bit here. Tripwire. This show does not want to run too long. I have been doing tons of coins. Nebraska. No. I've been doing coins like crazy. But that's good. I found a steel dime recently in a row, a 1943 steel dime in a penny roll. That's a plus. And there's New York. All right, well, we got to leave something out of that. All right, grand finale, a real search for silver. Not the artificial, but a real search for silver. Let's do this. Here's the thing, though. It has a tape wrapper, so chances are this was uh, wrapped up at home and brought in. Uh, hopefully that person was not a coin collector. That's all I have to say, because if it was a coin collector, that means he pulled all the silver out already. What? Let's see what we got here. Oh, boy. Already I'm not even liking this one. 1984. Nope. We have here uh, 95. This one's worn to crap. 95. 75. Man, these are worn like mad. Ugh, crazy. It's all right, though. 84. 95. 1980. I try to hold it and tilt it. 74. 84. Not even a bicentennial yet. Something tells me that this person may have been a coin collector 74 I mean, we're at least we're in the 70s a lot of the 70s maybe we'll get a lot luckier on the other ones but 74 come on silver work with me a little bit will you 70s got a lot of 70s another 70 I'm going to have to double check I mean, 70, no, I don't think that there's any S's in here who knows though and before, nope, last one. Nope, that is definitely not it. Oh, well, no silver this time. And this concludes another edition of The Vault. I thank everybody that has helped me out on this episode. And just keep in mind that if you are a coin collector, you are never broke. <laughs> we'll see you again next Friday. Y'all take care. Later.